Continuing my exploration of northern Ecuador, I've left Quito, driven through Cayambe, and now we're in the Imbabura province. Let me tell you, the drive here was stunning, amazing views. And now we're here at El Cerro Tal, which is a hacienda owned by a family, and it's gorgeous. This is a place you drive to. It's a destination accommodation. It's been owned by a family for generations, pictures everywhere. It is luxurious, but also so cozy. It has so much character. And the grounds here remind me of the book, The Secret Garden. I don't know why, but it's just so lush, so beautiful, lots of nature, and the air here is so fresh. Lime leaves. Mm. Uh, yeah, that is a lemon actually. That's lemon. the first lemon I've ever seen. Ibarra is right here. It looks so big compared to this land, which is so vast. So we're in the area called the Ring of Fire. It begins in Alaska all the way down to Chile, goes over the Pacific into Southeast Asia. And what it means is we're in an area of high volcanic activity, so the Ring of Fire. In Ecuador, there are 20 active volcanoes and many more that are dormant. And those volcanoes affect everything from the soil to the wildlife to the types of trees that we see. 
it's very rich soil but it is very different than from other places you will see around the Americas so Isabel is taking us on a walking tour of her property it is so gorgeous here so many trees lots of the friendliest horses you can find I have realized that yes I do need hiking shoes because these ones are not waterproof and it's a little muddy so far my feet are still dry but yes in December I'm definitely getting hiking shoes our walk of the grounds with fresh lemonade so good the views here are gorgeous I can't wait to get the drone out just because it's so beautiful here walking through that forest I'm gonna do it again tomorrow morning the horse is so friendly the acacia trees it's really really beautiful here El Ceratal is in the heart of an indigenous community. And so I was thrilled Isabella took us to meet Wilman at his eco lodge. This is the thing that I'm smelling. It smells like a peach. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. A plot? No. I don't Maybe know. Maybe peaches because it's very similar. It was now. We've been going uphill for 40 minutes. <sighs> Definitely need to get in better shape. <sighs> It'll be worth it. I know. Oh, are we here? Oh, we're here. Apples. <laughs> Do you saw manzanas? Crab apples, I think, though. You okay, can't eat them. No, es ese es un durazno. Pero huele, huele y tiene la carnecita como Hay durazno. Que llévale al Wilman para que nos diga que... Andrés y Angelina. Andrés, Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. ¿Qué es esto, Wilman? Eh, rábano. 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 Ah, ¿Y eso? Está. There he shared with us the practice of using a sun calendar in farming. And then also the symbolism of Aya Uma, a mask I've seen at a lot of Ecuadorian celebrations, but I didn't know about its significance. Ser humano pero de esta cultura no porque nosotros sabemos que Bolivia, Perú, Ecuador, una parte de Colombia. Eh, eh, man, man. He also shared the symbolism behind the chacana, an Andean cross which you can find from Colombia down through Bolivia. And this indigenous cross existed long before we saw the Christian cross. Press it with your fingers. Any of them? This. This, this one. one. 
<risa> la sensación, no esos, son estas vainas, pero las más ah, gorditas. ¿Estas de aquí? Oh, wow. Explotan, es, es deliciosa la sensación. Aquí hay una. A ver. Ah, it's like the bubble wrapper. Ah, oh, yeah. Do it. Got it? Oh, <laughs> I love it. Woman also has medicinal experiences on site, like Temescal, which is a steam cave where he uses plants and herbs to cure both physical and spiritual issues. called Marco, this one also is an antiseptic, mm. one of the most uh, used. Oh. So they were like, when COVID was, uh, was like just getting started, people start drinking tea made out of this uh, plant, mm. because they know it's like the most uh, powerful of all them, all of them, in terms of getting rid of viruses and bacteria. Riqueza is to enjoy. La riqueza is uh, wealth. Ah, oh, wealth of our culture. I love that El Cerotal is not only a cozy hacienda with beautiful grounds that you can stay at, but it also connects with the community to offer these amazing experiences to guests. 